New in version 5 of our Shiftware tuning software is the Graphical Data Viewer. This new feature is the most revolutionary tool available for any standalone transmission control system, providing a detailed graphical view of 19 separate parameters regarding your transmission's performance. The ability to see exactly what your transmission and torque converter are doing at any given point in time is invaluable, helping you better tune your calibration for racing, daily driving, and diagnostics, no matter the vehicle. Before you can view a data log, you will need to open an appropriate tune file for your transmission. This is necessary in order to tell the viewer how to interpret the data. To access the graphical data view panel, Open Shiftware and load your calibration. Then, click the Open Data View Panel button on the toolbar. For the purpose of this video, we'll take a look at the provided sample file. To create your own data log file, you would click the red Record button on the main screen of Shiftware. For example, if you're at the track and would like to record a run, click the Record button prior to launch. Remember to click Stop when you're done to end the data logging. Otherwise, the data file will be large and hard to sift through. Each run or pass you record will be stored on your laptop as a .log file. Click Open Log File at the top left of the window to open your file. Your logs will be located alongside your calibrations, usually in C Shiftware. The log file's name will include the tune that was loaded when it was recorded along with the date and time it was started. Once a file is opened, the graph will populate with a series of multicolored lines corresponding to the 19 different parameters available for viewing. The vertical axis is scaled by 10. These values will correspond according to the parameter you're viewing. For example, if viewing engine RPM, 2000 RPM would be at the 2 mark. The horizontal axis represents time in seconds from when the recording began. The vertical grid lines are spaced one-tenth of a second apart at maximum zoom. Use the checkboxes at the top to choose which readings are shown. Once the log file is open and you've chosen the parameters to show, it's possible to use the filter button to narrow down your results and refine what appears on screen. For example, if you'd like to see only one two shifts at wide open throttle during your run, click filter and then only check the upshifts box. Enter 2 in both gearboxes. Next, enter 75 in the minimum TPS box and 100 in the maximum TPS box. Even though you're looking for wide open throttle shifts, it's best to enter 75% minimum TPS for complete filtering. Click OK and you will see the graph drastically change to only display every 1-2 shift that occurred at wide open throttle during the recorded run. Yellow vertical lines represent time breaks in filtered results. Zooming in or out will give you a better view of the graphs, which you can do with either the mouse wheel or the up-down arrow keys. The left and right arrows will move the graph one line at a time. Page up and page down buttons move the graph an entire screen. Place your cursor over any point on a line and a yellow status message will appear in the upper left with specific values for that point. As you can see, the ability to filter your results means that you can go to a particular shift that you didn't like, review the graphical data, and diagnose a potential problem or find an area that needs to be adjusted in your calibration. For troubleshooting purposes, data log files can be emailed to support at usshift.com so that it can be reviewed by one of our technicians. If you have any questions or run into problems, feel free to contact us. If you'd like to receive updates from US Shift, subscribe to our email newsletter, which is sent out no more than once a month. You can also like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. To be alerted when a new video is added, click the gear icon beside the subscribe button and check send me notifications.